Okay, today we're working on a 2010 Nissan Murano. We're going to change the spark plugs in this thing. As you see here, we got these uh, NGK iridiums. These cars only take iridiums. So let's get to it. Um, I did a little prep work because I don't want to save you, show you the boring stuff, but pretty much this uh, air box has to come off. Two screws, bolts, two bolts holding this thing on. One's right under here, right there. And the other one is right here. So you take those bolts out, boom, pop this off, and put it off to the side. Then you got three, actually four, four bolts. They're all, everything's 10 millimeter. One here, one here. You gotta loosen this guy up. And under here, you gotta loosen this up by the shock absorber. So you pull this out, you're gonna have to swing this thing out because it sits right in here. <clears throat> all right, that's pretty much all the prep work I did. So, now that's out. Um, Nissan decided to uh, make this a little difficult. So you got your spark plug here, here, and here. Uh, these are your coil packs that fire the spark plug. So you got three here. And you got an another three, because this is a six-cylinder, underneath the intake manifold. So unfortunately, I take the intake manifold out. And that's what sucks. So whatever. All right, next you got to take this air box out, because you're going to need room to work. Um, all right, so let's unfold this. Take that out. Answer my airflow sensor. And then flashlights. Okay, you see you got another bolt right there. It looks like I started to loosen that one up. Again, I would get a swivel on this one. A swivel and a 10. Again, what would I do without my Milwaukee? This off. Throw that there. All right. So this thing should be. All right. So that's pretty loose. And what else we got here? All right. So I got this breather box here. Let's take this thing off. Just. loosen it and boom there goes that all right let's loosen this thing up so again i like using my six on one so you can do just about anything with it Okay, uh, 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 uh. I don't know, let's see if this thing will go with my fingers, and it does, okay, so, alright, so that's loose, my tight fucking thing, oh man, do I gotta loosen up the that but it looks like you're gonna have to take this apart so unclip the top of the air box yeah unclip the top of the air box and that makes this thing come a lot easier these idiots these fucking zip ties all right top of the air cleaner and then so what's holding this hose on here little tit and 
I'm gonna pinch this tip and push it. Oh, there we go. Now that hose is free. Uh, that's a breather for your transmission. Ooh, look at all those goodies. Look at that. We're gonna have to blow out that air filter. You should put a new one in, but this car's got 200 some thousand miles on it, and I'm driving it, so we're just gonna blow it out. So now that that's out, what did I say about my flashlights? I always lose them. Okay, whatever. Here it is. Okay, so there's your throttle body. Okay. And so. Looks like this whole, yeah, you're gonna have to take this whole intake off. What a pain in the ass. Okay, um, so everything's bolted in here. Okay, so this rail. Alright, so this whole rail's gonna come. What about that hose? We can undo that, and that's gonna go with it. So, might as well undo this one. If you're a real good mechanic, or a, the right mechanic, you'll label everything, but I don't label things. Don't have patience for it. Um, okay, so then, all right, let's just disconnect all of these little vacuum pumps here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, the solenoids are unbolted, because they're gonna all go together. When you take this thing, what about this guy? Do we take it with it? Eh, let's see if these come easy. Nah, let's just unbolt this thing and then this thing can go with it. Okay, and it looks like another tenor. Take that out, and this doohickey's gonna go with the whole intake manifold. Okay. Radio, right T O. And then what's this one? This one, we're just gonna have to take this one out. Ooh, okay. Pliers and twist. Pliers and twist. Uh oh. This one, we're gonna have to replace the tubing on this one. It's already cracking. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're gonna replace that. So then you get a vacuum leak, and then you'll be cursing yourself out. Okay, so that's unhooked, that's unhooked, this is going with it. Okay. Okay, that's going with it. And okay, what do you got there? Oh, okay. So that's hanging in there. So you got these two lines. They look like little coolant lines. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And looks like we're gonna have to undo the cleaning plug for the throttle body. All right, let's get some hose clamps. Clamp this off. That way we're not gushing coolant everywhere. Try to prepare, but I could do better. Okay, let's clamp this thing off. You clamp the hoses, so that way, when you open these, because you're going to have to uh, Break these open when you open them. You don't bleed. Yeah, freeze everywhere. Pliers. Okay. All right, that's down off the nipple. Let's see how this thing. Get your pliers and twist the hose. Pliers and twist. Okay. We gotta bring this down more, actually. It must be a long, uh, 
nipple on this thing. There we go. Yep. Yep, it's antifreeze. Alright. Oh, okay. See? No leakage because I got it clamped off. And it seems to be on this one. You know what, Brian? I made it, I made it easy for myself. Just readjusting. Okay. Nice. See now if they if they just put the intake manifold different, you would have to take all this shit off, but they gotta cram all this shit in here in this nose. Being a pain in the ass. Oh, man, why is this one being so challenging? Okay, there we go. Was that so hard? Two are done. It wasn't supposed to be so hard. Okay. <clears throat> Start disconnecting this thing. Okay. Looks like we got another vacuum line back there. Yeah, we got a vacuum line back there. that one there we gotta disconnect that one too these are long reachers Ooh. there we go this one may behave We start zipping now. Zip away. Let's get a four or three, I guess. Again, all 10 mils. Okay. Mm. Is there a lighting? Nobody can see shit. bolted in. 
I mean, this is, no, it's not part of the intake, so we're just gonna leave them connected. Okay, we'll leave that loose for now. That's part of it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. You'll need to get a new intake gasket for this thing, too. Okay. Again, we're leaving the flame for the rail on. Is that one bolted, too? This one might be bolted, too. It's not. So we didn't need to take that one off, but we took it off anyway. All right, see this intake manifold will go now. Yep, okay, so it's just those. Not many bolts on this thing. They have enough to make it curse out everything. Uh-oh, we got something else hung up back here. Let's hold, what am I holding on to? What's this? Is this? Is that that hose? Yeah, okay, so it's going into another hose. All right. Jerk offs. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right there. Lefty. fancy hose clamps come on wiggle let's get the other hand in there and pry up oh, there we go okay let's see if she wants to go now I smell gas okay what else am I hold on to we've got Hold on to something else. What else is it? What's, what's this? What the fuck is that? Oh. What's this thing? It's like a hanger or something that's into this thing. Oh. Wow. Yeah, so it's loose. Okay. So whoever did it last time was like, fuck it, I ain't tighten this. Yeah, this thing's loose. So we can undo that. I mean, it's nice this time, but we'll make it... We'll make it snug properly. Yeah. Look at that bolt. So there's another bolt behind there. That's a bigger one. That's a 12. Okay. We didn't prep for a 12. See if she goes now. Third time's a charm. That is your intake manifold. Okay, and so I'm gonna flip it here. So this is your intake manifold gasket. That's what came in that kit I got. Look how wet this is. Okay. Okay, so now that that's open, um, you want to get paper towels because... Oh, look at all that oil in there. You know, these things have been sucking in oil. All these uh, direct injection... Or not direct. The injection ones. Okay, so let's get some paper towels and stuff those because my luck... I'll drop a spark plug down the throat of the thing. And it's not fishing season yet. 
Nothing fancy. Just a paper towel. Okay. And voila. There's your other three. So I already took the bolts out of this one. So we got to take the bolts out of that one there too. Uh, so let's just do it. Well, I guess I can leave the extension on. <sighs> can you see? can pull the injectors out. Let's pull this one out one at a time. We'll just start at the front. Okay. So you're going to want to do one at a time here. So I'll do one in the front and then one in the back to show you because it's, I don't want you to take all the time doing the whole thing, but I'm going to do this one here. So, <clears throat> um, Nissan. It's had to be jerk offs, so you need a 14 mil here. Don't use the Milwaukee, you want to use a hand wrench. It okay, so you gotta drop the 14 all the way down there. You know, unless you got a magnetic socket, if you got a magnetic 14, you don't have to do this, but I don't, so or 14 millimeter spark plug socket. So, we're going to do this. Okay. Okay. And now that it's loose, take it out and look, spark plug didn't come. Because I did. I'm, I'm a common guy. So, you take your long nose, go in there, and get it out. Look at that. So it's the old one, and it's the new one. Honestly, it doesn't look terrible, but it's supposed to be gapped at 45. I'm sorry, 044. Here's a 45. Yeah, it's, yeah, so it's, I mean, it's, a, okay, so it's, I mean, okay, it's out of gap pretty good. So, this is a 45, it's, it's a 44 is what it's gapped to. Yeah, that ain't going, that ain't getting in there. And this is, this is already greater than a 45. It's probably a 46 or, probably a 47. But, and you can see the tips worn down a little bit. Anyway, so auto lights were in there. So you could use Autolite XP5683, but I'm using NGKs. I like NGK. The NGK Iridiums, uh, the 11S. Okay. So, again, I don't have a magnetic socket, so I'm going to take this with my, my long nose there, plop that sucker in there. And then do it by hand. Slip that in there. Catches the socket. Catches the spark plug. And then you start working it by hand. Brad, how are you going to reach the back? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay. So it's tight by hand. Use our ratchet. You don't have to go stupid tight on these things. But you want to go snug. All right, so I'm pretty snug here, and I go quarter turn past snug. Okay. And then, so that one's done, so now I'm going to switch to the rear so you see how I do the rear. It should be pretty much the same, but this coil pack is going right back on here. And then you plug her in. Okay, you can do that for all the front, and that's, that's uh, the same, so I'm not going to show you all four. Anyway, let's do the rear. Okay, so the rear, I'm gonna unplug one, right? 
look, they actually gave you enough cable, you could probably undo it, but we're gonna take this one out. There's your coil. Put it up there. Here's this and do it again. Ooh, at least they give you enough room. Okay, righty tighty lefty loosey. Okay. Okay. No spark plug. All right, we're gonna go in fishing. And we get, oops. And we got it. There she is. That one's a little out too. Okay, get the new one. Put her on there. In she goes. And remember, motherfucker. Don't you hate it when that happens? Oh, what the fuck, dude? How's my fat ass gonna get over there? I probably work a little faster than I should, but I just like to get it done. All right. You can work fast, just don't work stupid. All right, so again, we're gonna go until this thing is snug. And it's snug, so we're gonna go another quarter turn. All right, we're good. All right, and so that's how you do the front and the rear. So I'm gonna bang out the other ones. Um, I'm gonna cut the video, and then I'll start putting all this shit back together. Put that on a little. Add it on a little. Okay. And a little, okay. Same thing. Make sure the holes line up. Thread it on a little. Thread it on a little. And thread it on a little. And let's snug it. My Milwaukee. Okay, <clears throat> now that spark, par spark plugs are changed, um, you're not going to use a gasket scraper because it's just a piece of silicone on it. So what you're going to do is use some Scotch-Brite and make sure the surface is clean. That way there's no shit on the silicone gasket. And you see all the dirt going in the cylinder? That's why you put that sit there. We look good, okay. All right, so now we're gonna whoop, pull that out real quick, whoop, 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 okay. Okay, so throw this shit out. Okay, um, yeah. Okay, so hard to put a gasket in this thing. So now I'm gonna slide her in. The gasket, mine didn't want to stick too well, 
So I put a little bit of grease on my gasket. I should have showed that. But I use a little bit of grease. Um, which I'm sure somebody will curse me out, but I put a little bit of get grease on there on the inside just to tack it and it holds it nice. Remember, okay, so this thing was sitting on tens. I'm sure there's a torque to torque these two. Um, I didn't look it up. But I'm going till this thing's tight and I go quarter turn. This thing was tight, quarter turn. Because you really don't need that much. The gasket's going to take up just about all of it. Okay. So, and remember, don't go fucking tight on this crazy tight on this thing. Just let the gasket do its job. Tight, quarter turn. And let's do a cross pattern. Tight, quarter turn. Let's do this one. Tight, quarter turn. Tight, quarter turn. Okay. All right. So that's on there. Plug all these doohickeys back in and let's make these tight again. Dude. Okay, so that's gonna go on. a little guide hole this thing sits in if you can see it right, put that click that sucker back in and we got we connect our hose here and da, 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 where's this guy where did that hose go I lost it. I lost it. Here it is. Okay. All right, that's on. Let it sit in there. Okay. Okay. Remember that little screw? We didn't need to take this out. We gotta put it back on. you can see. Let me put this back on. Okay. Ba ba da ba. Alright, and then we got this 12. This thing's goofy. So there's a hanger back here. I can't show you, you're just gonna have to feel for it. Anyway, okay, I got it. Okay, there's a tab on the hang. Okay, there it is. So you have to use your eighth sense or whatever it is. Put your finger in the hole, that's what she said. Yeah, okay, got it in. And then, where's the other hole? Got it. Yep. Got it. Okay. And that's a 12. I don't know if I can fit my ratchet back there or not. All right. So that's a 12. Let's get a 12. Fucking flashlight. Big Daddy hit me in the head. Alright, and we're gonna make that 
snug. Yeah. Dude. It's not a 12. Sure did look like a 12. Maybe it's a 14. I don't think it's that big. Let's try a 13. Could it be? Shit, it's a 13. Okay, whatever. Okay, all right, so that's snug on there. Okay, and remember, we gotta put this hose back on. Here and so on. And remember, you got another hose back here, which we will put on. There we go. I'm gonna get our pliers. Holy! Should I need my long ones? Long ones and my other hand. And pinch and pull. Don't do that. Pinch and push. Nice. Okay, we're on. Okay, so that's on. Okay, check, 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 check. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Let's reconnect. This was okay. So this guy's gonna go right back on there. All right, and then you know what? So we just we, let's put this one back on, and the hose barbs are enough to hold it back. But so I'm gonna release this, and I'm gonna release this one. Oh, I had that one on tight. So my hose clamps are there. Come on, there she goes. And she's on. Okay, so now that's on. Let's. Intake. Clips on here. So let's do the, do the bottom. bottom intake first. All right. It's clue. All right, I'm gonna go blow this shit out. All right, where is my ear chick? Close your eyes. Maybe I'll treat it right on the next oil change. Put a new air cleaner in it. Okay. Bottom box. Goes in here. Remember? It's connected by this thing. So let's get that nozzle on. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot. Heaven forbid. Way to get more lighting in here. Heaven forbid. This dumb thing connects in here. I can reconnect that to the hose. Okay. Let's put it back in. Get our Z 
zipper. Okay, she's on. The cleaner is in. Ideally, you want to put a new one on, but again, it's my car. And I'm not. put the top guy on so let's do this first let's get it on here oh that, that's going on nice I spoke too soon two hands I need two small hands there we go now she's on Get that on. Let's tighten it up now first. Big Daddy almost got me again. Alright, All right, we're gonna snug this up. My six on one. Old faithful six on one. forgot to plug back in my uh you gotta make sure you plug back in your throttle body I just did it and then we got the sensor air sensor that's plugged in okay a little breather for the intake Ugh. okay that's on pliers Okay, that's on. Man, we're done. Okay, uh, I'm gonna save the dumb shit for you guys to figure out, but she's just gonna put the air box in, it clips in here, rolls it in, bolt, and you put the cover on. Um, and then you're good to go. So, all right, that's, uh, I changed a spark plug from 2010 Nissan Murano. Over and out, you're on your own.